Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, this is Dina here with Heroes Brain Homeschool Academy. Welcome to another lesson of science. It's really good to have you here. We are in our last uh, chapter 11 lesson. Chapter 11, we're going to talk about identification of buildings, how to identify the building, what kind of materials are used, what kind of uh, tools are used to build these buildings. And this lesson, we're going to talk about the types of buildings that will be constructed as a consequence of these tools and materials. So let's look behind and find out what these buildings are. You have a bungalow. Um, can, it's just a regular cottage house. A mud house, if you've ever seen a mud house before, a one-story building, perhaps for an office or a place of work, a multi-story building, maybe a skyscraper or something a little bit taller, a detached building, even a semi-detached building, row of houses can also be uh, the types of buildings that are constructed as a consequence of um, building. A warehouse can be, uh, can be constructed like a store or some sort of warehouse location. Churches can be uh, constructed, and you can think of other buildings as well. Now, anytime you use this phrase, multi-story building and one-story building, it covers all the other offices and buildings. Government places like, you know, libraries, townhouses, city, house, city, city halls. It covers things like government buildings, and it covers, you know, all of, all of those things. And so, uh, but any of these buildings can be constructed, and using a lot of the um, construction materials that we've talked about in the past. If uh, this, is some, this is an area that kind of piques your interest, you can begin to research a little bit more and perhaps one day you will be that architect or that civil engineer or that um, construction worker that helps to, uh, to put some buildings together. Boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. There is an exercise at the back of the workbook. Uh, activity 11, your reflection. Please go ahead and take time to complete that. I think it'll help to there uh, to um, solidify your understanding of uh, your identification of buildings. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, as do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry